Today we're going to identify how to solve for the molar mass of aluminum chloride. So let's use this table to help us out. Boom. So this table makes it nice and easy. It helps organize our thoughts. So simply we're going to plug in the elements that we see in the compound. So I see aluminum and I see chlorine. Next thing is I'm going to look at the number of atoms I have in each element. That's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of aluminum there is an invisible one. So that means that there's one aluminum. And in the bottom of chlorine here the subscript there is going to be three. So I know I have three chlorines. Next thing is I'm going to then multiply those values by the mass of each particular element. And these masses are found on the periodic table. Let's check it out. So here, aluminum is 26.98. Now, if you're solving for molar mass, then the units are grams per mole. If you're solving for molecular mass, those units will be in AMU. So aluminum is 26.98, as I just mentioned, and chlorine is going to be about 35.45. All right, so we got 26.98, and then chlorine is about 35.45. Now, all you're simply going to do is multiply then the row uh, to get the total mass of the element in the entire compound. All right, so this is going to be 26.98 grams of aluminum. And uh, next thing is, well, if we're talking about molar mass, that is, it'll be grams per mole, or AMU would have been it for molecular mass. And then the mass, total mass of the chlorine here is going to be roughly about 106.35. And what we're going to do is then take those masses, add them together, and then we're going to find the total mass of the entire compound. So here, we're going to then take, uh, add those two together, and it comes out to be about 133.33. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in grams per mole. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing, and I will see you soon. Take care.